Hi there, Ashling from Nile Agency here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the latest HubSpot update around managing associations in the CRM, and particularly the possibility to associate CMM, CRM records of the same type to one another. So to be able to associate contacts with contacts, deals with other deals, custom objects with other custom objects, etc. Associations in HubSpot helped us to keep track of relationships with and between objects. So that can be both standard Standard objects like contacts, companies, deals and tickets and custom objects. And this latest update allows us to go further in tracking these associations and relationships, better allowing HubSpot CRM to fit different business use cases. Uh, we'll look at some examples of where same object associations could be useful as part of this tutorial. So let's jump right into HubSpot and take a look at the association settings. So in your uh, settings in HubSpot, when you come under each object, you now have this associations tab here where you can see all of the existing object associations. Um, and if you have not enabled all of the existing object associations, it's from here where you can then enable uh, any additional object associations, for example, context to context. Once you've then um, enabled the association context to context for example uh, you can then add uh, and create association labels here so i've already created one label for uh, spouse so that i can then in some instances indicate uh, when i have a husband and wife for example i want to be able to indicate that they're the spouse of the other person um, this might be interesting for my particular business model so i will add that here um, another association label which might be interesting is to have a pair of labels where I would be able to say that um, a certain contact was the referrer for um, this lead. That also might be something that I would be interested in tracking. Um, if that lead becomes a customer, perhaps then the referrer should get a bonus or an incentive of some kind. Uh, and then once I have that label, if I want to then assign that to a particular contact um, on my existing contact here, I would then find the contacts tab in the association section. And from here, I can then add um, the other contact. So for example, here, Maria Johnson, was the referrer for this new lead that has come in. And so now we can see uh, here clearly marked on this lead who was the referrer. Um, and from here on Maria's contact record, I can also see any contacts that she has referred. Uh, another example of where um, same object associations could be interesting is when we think about deals. Um, so if we come across to the deal association section um, and we come to the deal to deal object associations, um, I've created a new label here uh, to be able to say, for example, what's the renewal for a particular sale. So that might be interesting to be able to relate uh, renewals or upsells or downsells on uh, original sale deals. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to show you under the custom object section here, um, I have a custom object that I've set up as listing. So uh, for any kind of real estate companies uh, that would be working with HubSpot, this would probably speak to them. Um, and if I come to the association section here, um, I can see by default uh, I have these uh, object associations in place. I might like to enable some other associations and what I would actually be interested in doing here is enabling listing to listing association. So now that I've enabled the listing to listing association and um, the association label that I would be interested in um, if I just close that door, would be I'd like to create a pair of labels so that um, in my listings object in HubSpot, I can have individual apartment units and then I can have the apartment block um, that they're a part of. Um, so here I'm going to put um, the name of my um, residence. And this would be the individual unit 
And so let's just see that over on the listings object, what would that look like? So here I have my um, residence that I've created already and then I have the individual apartments in that residence and I want to link them together. Um, so what I'm going to do is just come across here into my individual apartment, res uh, apartment listing and add the existing development and that will choose that the development is the residence and save and that way um, here on the apartment block I can see the individual apartments and so I could do the same um, with this listing here again add the association label and show that that's the residence and again that way when I come into the residence here I can see all of the individual apartment listings um, and so I've obviously been updating this manually um, but this is also something that we could Im import to update as well. So I hope today's tuto has given you a couple of ideas of how you can use HubSpot's latest update on associations uh, between objects and uh, between the same objects um, to imagine other use cases for your business uh, and better enable the HubSpot CRM to fit your needs. Um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments please reach out to us. Bye!